Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Julie. I'm Miss Julie, and I'm so glad that you're joining me for another story. Our book today is The Little Red Hen. This is a story that I heard when I was a little girl. This is a fun story. But before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to some of my Storytime friends. Hello to Reed and Trent. Hello to MJ and Theo, Millie and Francesca. Hello to Elena and Ella and Lachlan and Kate. Are you guys ready to read? Get comfortable, here we go. This is the story of the Little Red Hen. Pictures by Lucinda McQueen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who shared her tiny cottage with a goose, a cat, and a dog. The goose was a gossip. She chatted with the neighbors all day long. The cat was very vain. She brushed her fur, straightened her whiskers, and polished her claws all day long. The dog was always sleepy. <sighs> he napped on the front porch swing all day long. The little red hen ended up doing all of the work around the house. She cooked. She cleaned. She washed the clothes. And took out the trash. She mowed the lawn and raked the leaves. She even did all the shopping. One morning on her way to market, the little red hen found a few grains of wheat. She put them in the pocket of her apron. When she got home, she asked her friends, Who will plant these grains of wheat? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Then I will plant them myself, said the little red hen, and she did. When the grains of wheat began to sprout, the little red hen cried, Look, the wheat I planted is coming up. Who will help me take care of it this summer? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Woof. Then I will take care of it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. All summer long, she cared for the growing wheat. She made sure that it got enough water, and she hoed the weeds out carefully between each row. By the end of the summer, the wheat had grown tall. Ooh. And when it turned from green to gold, she asked her friends, Who will help me cut and thresh this wheat? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the goat. Not I, said the dog. Then I will cut and thresh it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. When all of the wheat had been cut and threshed, the little red hen scooped the wheat into a wheelbarrow and said, This wheat must be ground into flour. Who will help me take it to the mill? Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Then I will take it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. The miller ground the wheat into flour and put it into a bag for the little red hen. Then, all by herself, she pushed the bag home in the wheelbarrow. I bet it was heavy. Do you think it was heavy? One cool fall morning, not many days later, the little red hen got up early and said, Today would be a perfect day to bake some bread. 
Who will help me bake a loaf of bread with the flour I brought home from the mill? Not I, said the goose. Mm, not I, said the cat. Ooh, not I, said the dog. Then I will bake the bread myself, said the little red hen, and she did. She mixed the flour with milk and eggs and butter and salt. She kneaded the dough and shaped it into a nice plump loaf. Then she put the loaf in the oven and watched it as it baked. The smell of the baking bread soon filled the air. It smelled so delicious that the goose stopped chatting. The cat stopped brushing and the dog stopped napping. One by one, they came into the kitchen. When the little red hen took the freshly baked loaf of bread out of the oven, she said, who will help me eat this bread? Oh, I will, said the goose. Oh, and I will, said the cat. And I will, said the dog. You will, said the little red hen. Who planted the wheat and took care of it? I did. Who cut the wheat? Who threshed it and took it to the mill? I did. Who brought the flour home and baked this loaf of bread? I did. I did it all by myself. Now I'm going to eat it all by myself. And that is exactly what she did. The end. The little red hen is kind of like moms sometimes. They do a lot of work. They do a lot of things around the house and the yard to help their families. Can you think of something that you can do to help around the house today? Could you make your bed? Empty the dishwasher? Brush your teeth? Put away your shoes? Those are just some suggestions. Think of a way that you can be kind to others today. Because when we're helpful to other people, it makes us feel good inside too. That's it for story time today. Thanks, boys and girls. Bye-bye.